What up, YouTube? Puff Bear 359. What up, fellas? Ladies, children of all ages. Puff Bear coming at you with a, let's see, Saturday mail, that not Saturday pack, tops pack opening. What do we got here? Terrible intro. Sorry about that. We are going to open 12 of the tops, one exclusive, 150 years professional baseball commemorative patch. Now, these are not a big deal, um, but I went and bought 12 of them. Uh, I bought some from one buyer, some from another, and I waited for them to all come in. You could feel the patch in there. Ooh. Um, <coughs> I, I um, waited to get the dozen of them in so I could make a video. Uh, I'll start off as I do with most of my videos. How's, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing good. I do want to make a comment, though. Um, I hope... Uh, Everybody that's not working and with their spouses or with their families, don't kill each other. Love each other. Jeez, don't 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 go nuts. I know it's probably getting tough. You can't go to the places you usually go, and all that stuff. And I don't have Josh with me here today because uh, he's with his mom. Um, but um, gosh, I really thought I made a couple videos in the last couple weeks. I thought I'd be having like eight hundred, um, you know, eight hundred um, views. Um, I guess when you're out of the game for a couple of years, people forget who you are. You know, I'm used to having four, five, six hundred views on my videos, and now I'm down to fifty. But I don't do it for the views. I don't get paid for this shit, and I don't. I don't have enough. I don't have enough subscribers, and I don't have enough views to even make a penny. So yeah, I'm not. In, I just wanted to. I'm back making videos because I love doing it. Number one is showing you all what I got. But uh, be nice if. Spread the word that Puff is back, kind of here. So, all right, guys. So, I hope everybody's good. Um, yeah, and I got a lot more stuff coming. Um, and we'll, we won't talk about that anymore. But I do have a lot of stuff coming. Um, okay, so we got 12 of these. And don't comment on how I'm opening them. Because I'm the same way when I watch a guy opening chromes and stuff like that. And he's, oh, you're ripping that, you're ripping that pack. Oh, you're going to freaking damage the card. Well... First one up for the win. Got the garbage right here. First one up for the win is Bryce Harper. So I'll be careful with these cards. Well, they're mine, but I'll be careful. It's not like I'm doing a group break and I'm opening your cards. So I try to be careful with all my cards. I think you guys know that. All right, Bryce Harper, the first one. Uh, for those that want to care, I don't, the resale value on these is not that high, for those wondering. Before you go crazy, and look them up on the bay. Or wherever you purchase your cards. But I just bought these as a goof. And I'll tell you this. For the 12 packs. I probably paid an average of. $3 a piece. Uh, okay. Next one is Al, Cal Al Kaline. Uh, I'm looking for an Ichiro. I'm looking for a pool host. I'm looking for a Jeter. I'm looking for a Judge. I'm looking for... Oh, so I know a guy that collects this dude. Sandy Koufax for the win. So I'm looking for some for my... Uh, that's an AF Cop 13 shout-out. Roberto in FLA. So three down, nine to go. Uh, Josh is pissed off that he's not here. I'm trying my best. Well, I'm all over the map here with players. Buster Posey. Buster Posey. These aren't bad. I mean, like I said, these are what? Five bucks a piece? Ten bucks a piece? Resale. Some are two bucks a piece. Fifteen on a good, good player. I don't know. Who cares? They're mine now. Oh, yeah, baby. Who's this now? Tony Gwynn. T Tony Gwynn for the win. <laughs> I know. I'm more entertaining when my buddy... Uh, my buddy... Crazy Josh is here, which I could, I guess, oh, shit. I saw it. Oh, shit. Who did I just say I wanted to pull? Come on, dog. Yes, that's the third video in a row I said the word dog. Look at that. I wanted to judge. I got to judge. <laughs> now I want a pool host and each row and a jeter. 
Wow. Oh, shit. Roberto. <laughs> I said the word Roberto. And I got a Roberto. Roberto Alomar. As a Blue Jay. Not as a Cleveland Indian. Was he in Cleveland? No. Not in Baltimore. Um, yeah, nice. 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 But somebody will correct me and say, no, he wasn't on Cleveland. No, he was on Texas. Oh, Puffy said the wrong guy. You pronounced his name wrong. Oh, I'm a Yankee guy. Good one. Good one. Good one. Look at that, baby. I got to say I'm happy. I got like three packs, four packs, three packs, four packs to go. I got my judge. Harper, that first Harper wasn't bad either. Um, wow. All right. We'll take it. The Iron Horse, Lou Gehrig. Number four, first baseman, New York football Yankees for the win. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I got another one. I got another one for the guy in Florida. Sandy Koufax. That's two of them. There they are. I'll show you side by side. Nice. Two Sandy Koufax. Guess I got to send a Just Because now to Florida. I haven't done that in a while to my buddy Bobby, who's hunkering down and doing his thing with his family. Uh, Justin Verlander as an Astro. Not as a Tiger. We got two to go, guys. Two to go. So this was just something fun to do. I'm not putting this set together, so don't ask. But I appreciate you watching. Max Scherzer. Nice uh, nice variety of uh, players here, got to say. Some of these I probably will put on eBay for a couple bucks. You know, like I said, I spent $36 for 12 packs. Um, like I said, I bought them from various lots on eBay, L-O-T-B Dookie. And the last one is a guy that I don't mind. I, I like this guy, too. It's a Jeff, Jeff Bagwell. So there we got, uh, go, guys. Let's recap. We got a Bagwell, Max Scherzer, Justin Verlander, Lou Gehrig, Roberto Alomar, A.A. Ron Judge. That's going right in the... Um, Magnetic, and going in his pile I have, Tony Gwynn, Buster Posey, Sandy Koufax times two, Al Kaline, and Bryce Harper. There you go. All right, guys, so I think I was saying something um, earlier that um, just to end this video on 10 to 11 minutes to just BS. So that's my cards for today. I got a whole, that whole stack right there I got new. I got to show you since my last video, and there's one there. And, uh, yeah, this is the uh, Magnetics I recommend, by the way. I buy them at my, um, the show I go to all the time in Plainville, Connecticut. I get them from Freddy. Um, so, uh, yeah, Josh is doing his bedroom over upstairs, so I have the uh, luxury of my son shopping on websites looking for his new, the furniture he wants. So, and then we are going to do, like, Josh is going to have, like, a mini kind of, uh, Josh is going to have, like, a mini card room up in his room. So I just started buying him certain kind of shelves because, uh, Josh has uh, a ton of cards, and then him and I will, like, open a box of cards down here. We'll go through old boxes, and uh, like, I, we make a Josh pile now. So he's starting to accumulate some stuff that he, he likes, um, and so he's got quite the collection himself. Um, what else is going on to waste time? Uh, sorry, you can turn the video off if you want, guys. I'm just um, jibber-jabbing here. Um so, 
he um he does have quite the it's like it's like my room down here like i have cards all over the place and i think i said that in my last video because i kind of got back into this four months ago uh, this room i probably didn't go crazy for two years maybe down here i still bought here and there uh, but now i'm so into it and i'm reorganizing I, I and i'm i am gonna do a video of my card room when it's done and that probably won't be till the summer i'm gonna hold myself to that some of you guys want updates but i have another i tell you uh i repeat myself but i have another room down here that is full of the boxes the four uh uh, the four column, four row boxes, just boxes that I got to go through. And that's what I want to do and uh, reorganize certain things. Like uh, like just this table. This is the table on my back wall, guys. And there's there's not a lot. There's just some. See, I've been organizing and reorganizing and going through stuff. And this is just the back wall. I got to go through all these up there. Um, you know, go to Maggio. For the win, Yankee Stadium for the win. So this is the back wall of my card room. Um, so when you walk in the door, it's right to the back, obviously. Um, so I'm jibber jabbering. Sorry. So yeah, I got things to do down here, and I got to go through all those because that that spare room that I got now, I'm making it another bedroom. Uh, cause my fiance's boy's been living with me for a year or so, two years, and they share a room down here. Uh, cause there's three bedrooms down here, then my card room and then the laundry and furnace room. So now you know the layout of the house. So I'm going to split the boys up now and they're going to get that room. So I got a dumpster coming in two weeks cause I got all kinds of, it's nice to have that spare room. Because I got, you know, my I got a big shelf, huge shelf with all these cards on it. Then to the side of that, I probably got six of those boxes, the four four row boxes. I got six stacks of them, and they probably go about five feet tall that I have to go through, plus the inventory I have in here. So I'm buying a couple new shelves down here, kind of setting it up different. Uh, my old desk over here, I'm, I just uh, was looking at, is right here to my right from my first video you saw. That's coming out, and I got a nice roll-top desk that I had gotten um, when my dad died a couple, two, three years ago uh, from my mom and dad. Uh, he always wanted me to kind of have it. Um, so I got that. That's right outside my card room when you walk downstairs. I kind of use it. It's got stuff in it, but I'm going to replace this desk I have here, um, and I'm embarrassed to even show you what that looks like. I'll show you since we're here. So there's my filing. That thing's loaded, and there's the desk I'm getting rid of. See, that's an old crappy desk, and look at all the cards on it. I've been going through those, and then those stanchions on the side are from a different desk, but they just helped me out a little bit. Um, so, yeah. We got cards, guys. Look. So, we got a ton of stuff down there. So, yeah, the, the room is a lot different from that video that I'm sure most of you watched. So, that's all I got. So, that sorry about the last uh, six minutes of rambling. Uh, but, yeah, man, I'm, um, I'm working. Things are good. Um, I'm not getting any stimulus money. Which I love it. Some of the some guys bitch about not getting it. I'm like, well, you, you make too much. Like you know, so what? You know, who cares? I hope all of you guys that get that money do good with it. Um, pay your pay your bills. Uh, take care of your family first. All that jazz. Um, and then getting back to the whole like uh, eBay thing. Um, I um, started buying more Yankee Stadium uh, Legacy uh, cards. Uh, so I, I hit a freaking good uh, seller um, that was selling a bunch of them. And I had my list. I know what I have. I know what I need. Um, and I bought a bunch of them from him. You'll see that in uh, probably two videos from now. But uh, the next video I have to show you guys, I will probably, maybe I'll do one tomorrow. Because like I said, I got that stack of cards right there. That I've gotten in since my last video. And I'll probably get stuff in the mail today, Saturday. I might get a couple things. 
But I think I have 29 cards coming in. I just looked this morning. Because I've only been up since 4.30. Uh, that's what you do. Uh, we're going to make a 20-minute video. Puff rambling for the loss. Um, and yeah, so... Yeah, this is the other side of the of the wall. But I got stuff everywhere. Um, look at it all. Boom. Yeah, made, made piles over here. So I got NASCAR piles, certain Chrome piles, certain player piles, all that stuff. And then I got this monster table behind me. <laughs> Full of stuff that that's this this that's the working table behind me. Man, can I ramble on? Um, so yeah, if you turn the video off, I don't blame you. Uh, but some of you like to hear me ramble. Um, so what else is going on? So yeah, I got 29, um, different cards I bought from different sellers. That stack right there is, it's more of the RJ Barrett stuff. I'm kind of, I'm kind of done with the RJ Barrett stuff for now. Oh, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. So, um, I'm, I'm kind of coming up with new things instead of just showing you all the same you know, oh, look, I got more prisms, this and that. That's from the last video right there, those cards. Um, I'm going to do a, a Derek Jeter autograph video. Um, you know, I'm going to start doing stuff like that. Um, stuff I have. Uh, I could make a video every day if I wanted to, I think. Um, like a New York Giants um, autograph video. Um, Yankee autograph video. Um you know, I could do it like team related or stuff like that, or just random cards I have to show you. Um, and that's it. So, all right, man, I'm going to cut the video because <laughs> I'm done talking. I'm just, I apologize. I really, really do, man. I just rambled on for, yeah, hmm, no bueno. But, yeah, I got boxes to go through. It's It's really hard for me. I want to, I mean... It's funny because, I'm not going to end the video, it's funny because I have such a large collection, and I'm not bragging, I just have a lot of cards, so I'm not trying to be a pompous ass, so relax. Um, when you collect since you were seven years old, and you kind of don't stop, uh, you do have stuff that you forget you have. So, it's funny because... I found a Clayton, this is how this room goes. You think you know where everything is. So I found a Clayton Kershaw um, Bowman Sterling uh, rookie card autograph. And I'm like, shit, I thought I gave that to Bobby. And I did give him one. But I found another one I didn't know I had. So I put it over on the side over there. Then I'm going through a box. And I found another um, Clayton Kershaw. Different. There's one of him sideways. And then there's one of him standing upwards. I think it's right over here. I don't know where the other one is, but this is the second one I found. Where'd I put it? Oh, it's right here. Hold on. Um, now I'm a liar. And Josh ain't here to tell me where I put it. But I do have it. That's not a lie. Yeah, I can't find it. Wait. No. Don't know where I put it. See? I got so much stuff that uh, <clears throat> I forgot where I just put that freaking card. I thought I left it right here on the back table, but I didn't. So now I forgot where I freaking put that Kershaw card. As soon as the video's over, I'll find it, though. I'll guarantee you that. But yeah, I, it's like weird. I love, like those boxes I have over in the other room, I probably will. It's crazy. I just, I find autographs, jersey cards. Stuff of players I, I, I forget I had. Um, not too long ago, we're going through when I found a Griffey autograph. Um, I mean, that's when you find a Ken Griffey Jr. autograph, numbered to like 25 or something like that, and you forgot you had it, and it's sto stowed away in some box under a pile of 300 other boxes, I think you have a problem. <laughs> so I'm trying, I'm trying to downsize, guys. <clears throat> I can't believe, oh, is this it? No, that's not it. Um, I think that's that's like, you know, that sucks. That's too much. You know what I mean? And there's somebody out there saying, well, just give it to me if you don't want it. Or, you know, and then I look at it, I always say to Josh, I go, that card could be like the, uh, 
showpiece for some guy's collections. And it's like, it's just, it's, it's getting overwhelming for me uh, down here with all this. And I keep buying. So I think I'm a card hoarder. Um, probably is the best way to describe it. And I don't, okay, I am, I am. What the hell you want me to tell you? Um, so, oh, I'm so upset. I can't find that freaking Clayton Kershaw card. Cause I probably lost, I put it, you know, when you put the, down here is the worst thing to say. You guys know if you have something, you say, okay, I'll put it here and I won't forget where I put it. And then when I need it, I'll find it. No, 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 that don't happen. So. Yeah, I think uh, the Jeter autograph collection I'll do soon. I promise you, I will do a mail day tomorrow for the 50 of you that watch my videos to uh, enjoy. Um, I'll do the mail day tomorrow just to get rid of that stack there. But that's more R.J. Barrett stuff and whatever. So just to say hi and talk to you. So, all right, now we're at 21 minutes. Now it's going to take three hours for this to upload. All right, guys, now I'm done. All right, guys, I will talk to you all later. Puff Bear's over and out. Have a great day.